I want you to understand he doesn't speak a word of English, do you? That's right, mate. Yeah. Now, just one moment. I have in my pocket, ladies and gentlemen, a blindfold. I'm going to choose a lady. It's for a nice little lady here. What's your name, my love? What's your name? Debbie. Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Bob's my name. Have you heard of the 60, the 60 second sex maniac? <laughs> you haven't? <laughs> have you got a minute? <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Debbie. I want you to look into the blindfold. You don't have to put it on. And tell me if you can see anything through it. Okay, Debbie. Thank you very much, Yanee. That's lovely. There we are, Professor. Place on the blindfold. Now, whilst the Professor is placing on the blindfold, I'm come amongst you. I'm going to ask you one or two questions. And although blindfolded, the Professor is going to give us the correct answer. I hope. So, very quickly, let's start with this lady over here. Are you ready, Professor? I'm holding yes. something on a lady's wrist. Can you tell me what it is? I have very little time. A watch. A watch. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> uh, that could have been a lucky guess. Let's have something a little more difficult. Okay, we're touching a gentleman here on the shoulder. Can you tell me the gentleman's name? He's Jewish. Is he? Is he? Correct. Is he? <laughs> We're too good for this place, aren't we? Bloody hell. Okay, let's have another one, right? I'm touching a lady on the leg. Woo Can you tell me which one? Left. Wrong. Right. Right. <laughs> Correct. Right. I... There's the pause. Can you, uh, can you tell me, Professor, what colour is this lady's shoes? I'm not going to a funeral. Black. Black. Correct. Right. Book. I beg your pardon? Book. Ma uh, uh, microwave. I, I beg your pardon? What, what did you say? Just say something. Microwave. I'm not there yet, you bloody fool. Now carry on. <laughs> We're going over here now. Uh, now, the, can you tell me, can you tell me, Professor, this lady's name? She used to be fat, but now she's Lena. That's quite correct. <laughs> he forgot the bloody thing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a, re a rehearsal for you in the morning, lad. That's right. We'll have one more go. I'm going to talk to this gentleman over here. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. Right. A gentleman has given me a number between 1 and 70. What is the number? 47. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for the professor. What a lot of cobblers, isn't it, eh? Okay, now I'll tell you what we're going to do. Seriously speaking... I've been performing this act for many years and really and truly the comedy is gone now. It's now down to serious business. Would you get the apparatus please, Terry? I'm calling you his name now. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like one lady or a young lady in the audience this evening to volunteer to come and say hello to me. I will not embarrass the lady one bit, but I'd like to read her mind. Now I don't want I don't want the lady to have ever met me before on the ship or anywhere else a lady who has never spoken to me whilst we've been on this cruise could I just have there's not many I heard that <laughs> could I just have one lady please to volunteer and I will read her mind could I have the house lights on please so just one lady come on one sporting lady please who hasn't spoken to me have we got one? Oh, would you like to come out I can't see from here without my without the bins on but would you like to come onto the floor my love now, give her a nice round of applause. I'd, I hope I've never met her before. Well, she's met me, but I've probably... Hello, what's your name, my love? I can ask you a simpler question. Yeah, what's your... Margaret, is it? Margaret, now be honest with me, Margaret. Have you ever spoken to me since we've been on the cruise? No. No, there we are. And whereabouts are you from, Margaret? Victoria. From Victoria, that's lovely. Victoria, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice place to leave. That's marvellous, right? Now then, tell me, what is your full name? Your, your, what, what is your full name? Margaret Griffin. Margaret Griffin. Now, Margaret, tell me, have you ever been on the floor before? <laughs> We're being very serious here. She's making up her own jokes over here. What I mean to say, have you ever faced an audience like this before in your life, Margaret? 
Because it's a little bit terrifying, isn't it, with all the light shining on you. It's not terrifying. Right, now, Margaret, I think you're just, you're just the lady that I really want to experiment with. Now, would you mind picking up the apparatus, please, Terry? Now, Margaret, I'm going to give you three choices. Three choices. Come on. <laughs> this is serious, Margaret. Yes, right. I love your hairstyle. Oh, thank you. Did you come on a motorbike? <laughs> okay, now, listen, I... Please, Margaret. I do that to just make you feel at home. Margaret. All right. I'm going to give you three choices, Margaret. Very serious now. All right. Here are the three. You can think of a person's name, somebody I couldn't possibly know, a male or a female. If the person has three names, like a lot of people do, like maybe John Henry Armitage, or if it's a lady, <laughs> Maureen uh, uh, Sylvia Ray, anything like that. If they've got three names, that makes it more difficult. If you don't want to think of a person's name, Margaret, you can think of a place anywhere in the world. But please don't think of Australia and don't think of England because I could make a rough guess. But anywhere in the world you can think of a place, a city, a town, a village. Okay, there's two. If you don't want to think of that, you can think of an article. Anything at all in the world. So they are your three choices. Margaret, do you want to think A, of a person's name, B, a place in the world, or three, an article? What is your choice, Margaret? person's name a person's name 11 ladies out of every 12 always say the same now if that person has got two or three names it does make it more difficult have you got someone in mind Margaret have you got someone in mind not really would you think of a person's name Margaret you would you haven't been on the grog tonight have you Margaret no ah, they're right. okay right are you ready professor we have a bit of a difficult problem this evening how are you doing? <laughs> Margaret, I want you to look me in the eyes, the left one, the, the good one. You're looking at me, Margaret, yes. <laughs> A comic always gets nights like this. Do you know that? It really... Margaret, when I click my fingers like this, seriously, I want you to concentrate on the name, okay? Whilst you're concentrating on that person's name, someone... Obviously, I couldn't possibly know. The professor here, Terry, he's going to write exactly the same on that board. Would you hold the board out very wide? That's, that's lovely. So you can get the name. Okay, Margaret, let's see if I can do it. Margaret, I'm going to click my fingers now. Would you please, Margaret, please, would you think of the name? Would you think of the name, Margaret? Are you thinking of a person's name? Are you thinking... Pardon? Are you? Th yes. yes. She has been on the bloody grog. Don't you? Don't you? Agree? Hey. You're thinking of the person's name. I think now you've got it. I've got it. Margaret, I've got it. Now then, as you were thinking, look, look, Terry, as you were thinking of that person's name, Margaret, he has already written exactly the same on the board. Okay, Margaret, here's your test. With a loud voice, tell the ladies and gentlemen the name you were thinking. <laughs> yes. Think of a name. Have you thought of it? What was no. the name? Yeah. <laughs> what do you take off? <laughs> you, no, you did you did you had a mar you had a name in mind when what wasn't it? You did. What was the name? What was the name, Margaret? What was the name, Margaret, you were thinking? Uh, Trevor. Trevor Smith. Did you hear what she said, ladies and gentlemen? She thought, I knew she had thought of a name, she forgot again because she's a little bit, she's a little bit worried. But she thought of a name, can I repeat it, was it Trevor Smith? She thought of the name, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do. That was the name you were thinking, Margaret, you told me. You were thinking of the name Trevor Smith. Well, believe it or believe it not, Margaret, ladies and gentlemen, Terry has written exactly the same on the board. Thank you very much, Eddie. Thank you very much. Give her a round of applause. She did very well. Bye-bye, Margaret. Thank you very much, Eddie. There's always a night like this. Now I have something.